Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. So today I wanted to do some shout outs and I've also wanted to say thank you to Neva from um, Manic Mama Creations No Idle Hands. She sent me this beautiful Valentine's card. Look at that. Who could not love that puppy? <laughs> so thank you so much, Neva. You are so good to me, honey. You are such a good, good friend. Thank you so much. This really made my day. I was not expecting it at all. And of course, any kind of happy mail is happy mail. So thank you so much for thinking of me so much. I appreciate that. So today's very first um, shout out is going to be Loretta the Frugal Scrap Booker. Now, I have mentioned her a few times when I am, uh, you know, doing my podcast. I love this lady. She can, she does a lot of scrapbooking, but the things that she uses as embellishments or, or just like, uh, she'll go to thrift stores and buy an old handbag and cut out some, um, uh, some parts of it that she can use for actually for decorations. She loves to uh, buy napkins. There are beautiful uh, napkins, you know, the more expensive ones, and she'll cut them out and uh, she'll turn it into something gorgeous. She is frugal because she uses uh, the things, you know, that we normally all throw out. And one of my favorites uh, that she actually mentioned is that when she was telling, saying that her granddaughter is, uh, told her once that, Grandma, you are always cutting up everything. <laughs> <laughs> she reuses a lot of things so it saves her money on her on buying things for crafting so she does awesome 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 things I cannot believe the things that this woman will do uh, find a, a very antique shirt lacy shirt or something and cut out and the patience in cutting out all the beautiful motives in in the lace uh, lacy shirt awesome check her out awesome lady Loretta Frugal Scrapbooker. My next one is Steve Parks. And if you uh, are looking for a uh, channel that will, um, you know, teach the Word of God, uh, or you're looking for a devotional, that's what uh, Steve does. He actually uh, he is in the book of Revelations right now. And it's about 10, 15 minutes that he does. Uh, it's not a very long one, but it's enough if you just want, um, like I said, if you're looking for that, um, if you only have a few moments and you want to get uh, in your word of God. Uh, he also does a, a lot of um, additional information if you're looking for, you know, he just, you know how they, we always say, don't take someone's word for it, go look it up yourself. He also uh, has tons of other um, links and things that you can look up when, what, to whatever reference in the Bible he is talking about. So uh, right now he's in the book of Revelations. Uh, like I said, it's about 10-15 minutes. Uh, you know, we all got 10-15 minutes that we can, uh, you know, open up our Bibles and, and have a, a, a Bible study. And that's what Steve does. Steve Parks. Check him out, please. The next one is a, also uh, someone relatively new uh, to me, and that's the dude's uh, kitchen. Now I love this guy. You know why? I, you know I tell you guys why I watch the things I watch. <laughs> There's always something particular about them. I love. Let me tell you, this man has a kitchen outdoors. It is just amazing, you guys. Uh, he has an outdoor kitchen, and he can actually cook. And he does, you know, like for me, when I see a grill outside, I think of burgers and chicken. I never think about that, you know, you can do something else on that grill. You know, like maybe, you know, cook up some pasta or something or, or some sauces. But he does a lot in that kitchen. And he also gives you a lot of tips. And he also has guest speakers. And uh, my favorite happens to be his grandson that he has on. But that little boy steals the show, I'm telling you. And another thing I love about his backyard, in the background, you see his wooden fence. And on that wooden fence are all this psychedelic, like, you know, like he just let his grandkids go to town and let them paint whatever. But I bet you it wasn't the grandkids, it was probably him. <laughs> 
another great thing about the, the dude's kitchen is that here's this great chef and he is a good cook he's a real good cook you guys and he, he makes a lot of great th um, you know uh, recipes but he also lost 50 pounds you guys so here he is cooking up these delicious meals and he's there and he's still watching his weight and he was able to lose 50 pounds that's awesome my other one is a very dear 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 lady of mine and that's Tina from crafts by D Rose this lady has a heart of gold if you have never gone to her and I'm, I'm I would like to find some channels that really don't know her uh, especially if you're a crafty or yarny sister or uh, brother <laughs> <laughs> she actually visits a lot of channels she does a lot of lives she also does um, a lot of pop-ups what she calls pop-ups and that's like sudden suddenly she comes on live to talk about things she is known for her earrings she makes these beautiful hoop earrings and if you are if you capture her heart she is known to send them out to uh, many many people as a special gift and you see a lot of these sisters walking around with those beautiful uh, uh, earrings that she actually um, crocheted. They're crocheted. It's, it's these really big hoop earrings. Really nice. And uh, check her out. She has a heart of gold. The woman is wonderful. Very supportive. I, I think she goes on everyone's ch uh, channel. She's very supportive. Always leaves a comment. Uh, you know, just a dear, dear old lady. Her name is Tina. Check her out. She does many things, not just crocheting. And she also she is also known for her hats. Um, she has these black hats with, I believe they're the Jamaican colors down in the middle. I believe they're Jamaica. And uh, she sells them. So you guys check her out. This other one I just found, and it is actually called Educational Roots. This is a homeschool mom. Who actually uh, makes her own curriculum and she comes up with some really great fantastic curriculums uh, um, and she calls them units and uh, unit studies so she'll look on the calendar and let's say February is known for uh, President's Days or she'll do a whole unit study with her children um, on that and the different things she uses uh, or Black History Month or uh, you know whatever she incorporates what is going on for that month into her study into her um, homeschooling she has a lot of great ideas if you're looking for or even if you're just looking uh, you know you're a parent and you're looking for some ideas to kind of help your kid along if they need help or extra tutoring or something you know, you know I also watch her because like I said she comes up with a really great um, unit studies you know theme studies and you know you can use that almost for everything uh for a lot of things like sunday school or you can use it for um your if you're in the um uh, what do they call that what i they used to call pta but back in my time i think now they call them packs you can use uh, all that information for many many things even yeah, even if for birthday parties or whatever, you're looking for a theme for something. Check her out. She has a lot of great. Now, this next one, I actually found her through a shout out, believe it or not. So, <laughs> I believe it was Cowboy Seabop or something that shouted her out. And, uh, and that is Ernie Hatmaker. This lady, I just cannot tell you, her sense of humor is just wonderful i would love to hang out with her literally love to hang out with her ernie i love your sense of humor when i go on to look at i never know what i'm going to see but i get that sense of humor and because it kind of reminds me a little bit of my own although <laughs> she has a, a parrot named jasper and she does a little bit of everything uh you know uh just just really about her life you know she'll do um she does oh and let me tell you she does shout outs unlike anybody I've never seen shout outs like hers she will literally go on your channel and do like a bio all about you uh, for her shout outs she does a fantastic I've never seen anyone like that like she literally knows you were so well you know 
and she talks as she talks about her parrot she does um she is a lover of plants she has this one plant that I think she's had since, you know, the day she was born, I think. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I might be exaggerating a little thing. She might have been five, but <laughs> I love Ernie. She does so many, so many things. And um, just check her out. She is a funny, funny lady. She has just a great sense of humor. And uh, there's a twist to it. There's a twist to everything uh, she says because it, it just, it's just funny. So... You guys check them out i hope you will um give them a thumbs up go over there you know give show them some love show them some love man <laughs> anyway you guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i will be seeing you guys soon bye bye